Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Bazicki, and I'm going to be showing you how to do some of these waves word problems today. Um, just a couple of quick pointers that you need to know. On the bottom of the worksheet, it has um, a triangle that represents how to solve for each of the following um, speed, frequency, and wavelength. I'm going to write those up at the top of this page to make it a little easier, um, and so we don't have to keep scrolling down to the bottom of the page. So what you should know is speed is equal to wavelength, length, if I could spell that right, it'd be awesome, times frequency. All right, so if you're solving for speed, you're gonna multiply wavelength and frequency, okay? If you are solving for wavelength, okay, you are going to do speed divided by frequency. Does this seem familiar? Yeah, because like all the other things we do. Um, and then if you're solving for frequency, it's going to be speed divided by wavelength. I'll do the slash. It's easier. There we go. Wavelength. All right, so those are our three formulas. Now, we are going to go through these problems, and we're going to text mark them so that we know what we're solving for. Okay. Um, the other thing I'm going to mention, I'm going to write it at the top here, is that frequency is usually measured in hertz, or hz. Okay. Um, wavelength, which is actually this, this symbol right here, is usually measured in meters, um, it can be centimeters, millimeters, but for this worksheet it's mainly meters, okay? And then the other thing you should know is that speed is measured in meters per second usually. Those are our units, all right? So you should keep that in mind as you do this, all right, that these are your units that you're going to use, okay? All righty, so let's look at problem number one. A wave has a frequency of 10 hertz and a wavelength of 30 meters. What's, what is its speed or what's its speed? Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to circle what I need to know. So speed is what I'm solving for. So I'm going to circle that so I know that's what I'm looking for. That's going to tell me that I'm using this formula. Okay. I'm going to underline what I'm given. So I'm given frequency, and I'm given wavelength, okay? Now I'm going to plug that into the formula. Now if you don't have enough space on here, you can write your answers on paper. You can also, you know, type them in. You can write them on like a separate sheet, turn it in, however this works for you. But you do need to show work if you want to get credit for these worksheets. So you need to show me what you're doing. And I'm going to show you what that looks like, all right? So speed equals wavelength times frequency, all right? So speed equals, in this case, 30 is the wavelength, 30 meters times 10 hertz, okay? And what that means is that my speed is going to equal 300 meters per second, okay? That's my answer. All I'm doing is multiplying these. Now let's look at question number two, right? If the frequency in question number one was changed to 20 hertz, what would the wavelength of that wave be? Hmm. Now this is a little bit tricky, okay? I'm gonna show you how we do this problem. So what we're looking for is wavelength this time. So we're gonna be using a different formula, wavelength is speed divided by frequency. Now, the speed is the answer that we got from problem number one. So wavelength equals speed divided by frequency, okay? Our speed is here, 300 meters per second. We got that from problem number one because it's asking us to use question one to answer this. Our frequency is going to be 20 hertz, all right? Divided by 20 hertz, okay? 
if we do that, we should get an answer of 15 meters, right, or M, okay? That should be my answer for the wavelength. These problems are pretty simple, okay? I'm going to try number three and number four, and then you are going to try the rest of these on your own, okay? We will post an answer key at the end of the week if you need it. So, the speed of sound is 346 meters per second. That's actually true, by the way. If a sound wave travels at a frequency of 55 hertz, what would its wavelength be? Okay, so again, wavelength is what I'm solving for, so I'm going to circle that. That's what I need. I'm going to underline what I'm given, which is sound and frequency. Oh, I'm sorry, speed and frequency. Okay, so again, speed is this, frequency is this, we want to solve for wavelength. So wavelength equals speed divided by frequency. Okay. Wavelength equals 346 meters per second divided by 55 hertz. Okay. Now this is not one that I can do in my head. All right. I probably could if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to try because no. So I'm going to pull out my calculator. Woohoo. Okay. So I'm going to type it in the calculator. I'm going to type in 346 divided by 55. Make sure you enter these correctly, all right? That top number always has to be entered into the calculator first. All right. Now, my answer is 6.290909099. Right? We don't need to put all that. That's very silly. Um, I'm going to cut it off at that second decimal place. All right? That just makes it a little easier for me. 6.29. And then because it's wavelength, it should be meters. M. Okay. And that's my answer. Not too bad, right? All right. Finally, if the same wave in question number three travels through water with the same wavelength, all right, so I'm going to keep that in mind, okay, at what frequency will it be traveling? The speed of sound in water is 350 meters per second, right? So this is the speed. All right, and the wavelength is going to be the same as the previous question, all right? What I'm trying to find is the frequency. Now, I look at the wavelength in the previous question, and I get 6.29. That was my answer, all right? So I'm actually going to write that here so you guys can see that, okay? My frequency is speed divided by wavelength. So I'm going to do frequency equals speed divided by wavelength, all right? Frequency equals... 350 meters per second divided by or slash 6.29 meters. Okay? Now again, I am a lovely person. I am a good, I'm very good at math, but I'm not going to do this in my head. I don't expect you to either. Okay? So, what am I going to do? I'm going to type in 350 divided by 6.29. I get 55.643879, blah, 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 blah. Right, again, I'm going to cut it off after that second decimal place. So we'll say the hertz is going to be 55.64 hertz. Okay. All righty. Now, the rest of these are not too bad. All right, I think you guys will be fine doing them on your own. And please reach out to either me or Mr. Bazicki if you feel like you need a little extra support. If you feel like you need a few more of these done on a video, um, please, again, reach out to us. We are here to help you always. All right, have a great rest of the day, you guys.